If you can order pizza, you can manifest anything you want. I'm going to share with you how ordering a pizza and manifesting money, relationships, better sex, or God into your life is the exact same process. Check it out. All right, when you're going to order a pizza, what's the first thing that you do? You take a look at the menu and then you decide what you want. Imagine that you call the pizza store and you say, uh, yeah, I want a pizza, but I'm not really sure what kind of pizza. You know, maybe I want this kind of pizza. Maybe I want that kind of pizza. The pizza guy wouldn't know what to put into the order. He wouldn't know. He wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to sell you anything. He wouldn't be able to give you anything because you don't know what you want. Well, this is how most people approach life. Yeah, I think I want more money, but I also don't want to work a lot. I really would like to do nothing. I would love to be fit and sexy. I also would love to eat anything I want, <laughs> right? It's like, you know, it's just not the reality. You see, you're giving mis mixed messages. If you're ordering a pizza, you can't give mixed messages. You have to say, this is what I want. So the first step to manifesting anything you want is to get clear on what you want. That's why when I'm working with men in my Powerhouse Man training course, the first session one is getting crystal clear on what you want and making sure that you can solidify it, that you're like, yes, this is what I want. Because only then can you direct your energy and make things happen. Only then can your power be exercised, just like the pizza man. You call the pizza man, you say, I want a vegetarian pizza. Okay, great. We got a veggie pizza. I want a medium veggie pizza. Perfect. Now, the pizza guy, the universe has proper instructions. It knows what to do now. Now it's like, great, he wants a vegetarian pizza, medium. And things start happening behind the scenes. Things start going on. And that pizza is starting to be cooked. And guess what? You're not there hovering over it. Because here's what you got to do. It's step number three, which is allow the universe to do its thing. Here's what most people do. They call the pizza guy. They say, I want a vegetarian pizza. And then they hang up the phone and they go, oh, maybe I felt like pepperoni. Call them back. You know what? I actually want a pepperoni pizza. So then the whole universe, the whole process has to stop and go, okay, he's changing his mind again. Let me do this. Okay, he's changing his mind. And then you think, oh, it doesn't work. It's not that it doesn't work. It's that you didn't allow it to happen. Now, here's why you don't allow it to happen. You have resistance. You know somewhere inherently that what I'm telling you is true, that you have to put in an order you have to take that action. So there's some action on your part. Knock and the door shall open onto you. Ask and you shall receive, meaning you start the process. You have to take the first step. You have to put in the order. Oh, but am I worthy to put in the order? Do I deserve it? Do I, I, I'm not perfect enough yet to deserve that, right? I'm not big enough. I'm not strong enough. My bank account is not big enough yet for women to desire me. My, uh, uh, my, 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 whatever, my body's not good enough yet for me to be attractive. All of that crap comes up and that's what stops you from putting in the order. Your job is simply to put in the order. Now, once you put in the order, you have to hold your vibration or your thought. You have to get excited about that order. Now, imagine what happens when you put in an order for your favorite pizza. You're like, mm. you start to salivate because right? you're like, you expect that order to come. You don't put in the order and go, I wonder if it's going to come now. You don't sit there and start dwelling. But you think it's going to come? Maybe let me revisit the plan. Let me go through all the scenarios of why it won't come. <laughs> and dwell upon that for the next 10 weeks or whatever. All resistance, resistance, resistance. The reason it doesn't happen for you is because you actually don't believe it's going to happen. You still want to get involved in the process and you don't understand the process that every time you're thinking about why it's not, the pizza's not going to come, you're actually telling the universe, don't bring it to me. So here's what happens. Here's what you got to do. You got to put in the order. Now you have to keep your vibration or your energy in a desirable state of expectancy. So what do I mean by that? Think about that pizza. It's coming. You start to salivate. Ooh, why? Because you expect it to come. 
your desire for it grows. You're like, oh yeah, that pizza's on its way. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm eating that pizza as soon as that pizza gets here. You know what? Not only am I eating that pizza, I'm gonna put some hot sauce on that pizza, right? I'm gonna put a little chili flakes on that pizza. You see, you're starting to marinate in your own inner energy how good that pizza's gonna be, and you're you're starting to cultivate desire for it. This is what I teach men to do with their sexual energy, how to cultivate desire. See, the root of all desire, the, the, the core of all desire is sex. That is our basic motivation as animals. When you become conscious that that is what motivates you, then you could begin to cultivate that and that's what sexual alchemy is. That's being able to have non-ejaculatory sex. That's being able to arouse sexual power within you all of that energy, all of that attractiveness, and then hold that vibration. See, most men have their sexual energy so out of control that as soon as they feel even a little bit of it, they run off to the washroom and brrr, boom, <laughs> right? As soon as they build up even a little sexual tension, boom. As soon as their woman says anything to them, oh. Most men have unconsciously trained themselves through masturbation and pornography to deplete themselves of their sexual energy and therefore their desire, their motivation, their passion, their vibrancy. It's all coming from your balls. It has to be transferred and transmuted into higher purposes. And that's step number two. Holding a high vibration. Holding self-mastery. Containing your energy. Now imagine... Let's take a radio, for example. Let's imagine that you tuned in. You want to listen to hip hop. You're like me. You're a hip hop guy. So you turn into hip hop. All right. Now imagine that that signal was weak. You could barely hear the hip hop. What do you have to do? You have to turn up the volume. So not only do you have to tune into what you want. Now, again, that's where you have to be specific. I want hip hop, right? This is what I want. I tune into it. Now you have to raise the volume so you can hear it and it becomes part of your experience. How do you raise the volume? You have to raise your desire or sexual energy or creative energy towards it. The problem is, or the challenge is, is that as most men raise their sexual energy, even just a little bit, they go jerk it off or they watch porn and they deplete that energy and now their basic motivation or desire is depleted again. Oh. So step number two is holding a high vibration, which naturally allows step number three to happen, which is just allow. Let the pizza guy bring you the pizza. Let the delivery man do his job and bring it to you. Now, when you hear the doorbell ring, that means it's going to require a little bit more work on your part. You have to get up and go answer the door and pay for it. When the woman gives you the signal or your wife says, yeah, it's on, you have to take action. When... The, when, when, when you're asking for something, you say, I want more money in my life. Great, I want more money in life. And then a job opportunity or a sales opportunity shows up, you have to act upon it. You have to have your antennas up. You have to be in expectancy of it. So therefore, you're looking for the opportunities. You're looking for the delivery man. Like, a, you know, when you're excited for, as a kid, when you're excited for pizza, you were waiting by the window. Oh, yeah. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Now I got to do my part. I got to go open the door. I got to pay for him. And then I can have my pizza. Well, similarly, you and the universe are in sync like this. And it is responding to you perfectly. So if it's not coming to you, it's not happening for you. There is a block. And you need to ha get that block removed. My opinion, best way to do it, reach out to me. I'm an expert at removing blocks. I've been helping Ben transform their lives. And as a coach for over a decade, I've learned all the energy techniques to removing blocks quickly, to getting you to focus on your goals, to shifting you into high gear by helping you cultivate and raise your sexual energy by mastering yourself in the bedroom, which naturally helps you master yourself outside the bedroom. It all starts with the free ejaculation control guide. Go to the link register, and let's start this journey to manifesting anything you want.